happy Monday. Hello everyone, my name is Bailey. Thank you for joining me today. I'm here to do a weekly rune reading. I'm switching it up again. This week I will be splitting the rune and the tarot readings so that they are separate readings. Um, often I find that the messages usually go together and work really well together. Um, however, I recognize that there are people that don't necessarily care for the runes or don't necessarily care for the tarot and maybe you know maybe those videos are a little bit long for for both to be combined so i'm going to make them separate and then you can watch either or both and it's up to you so um also please be aware these videos are going up on youtube however um as of the new moon that just happened I will be posting more on um, Odyssey and Rumble and alternative websites rather than YouTube. And uh, I do have tarot readings for each zodiac sign posted on those two sites, but not YouTube. And um, yeah, so if you're interested in uh, new moon breakdowns for each of the zodiac signs or just more of my more personal content, those will be going on Odyssey and Rumble going forward, and I'll continue to do the weekly readings for now on YouTube, and yeah. So, that's the housekeeping. Let's get into it. So I've got some runes. Well, some runes. <laughs> I have my runes. <laughs> and uh, let's see what they have to say to us this morning, for this week. First rune out, we have Urs. This is the rune of strength. It's the second in the Futh arc. This symbolizes, you can picture it like the horns of an ox. This symbolizes our strength, our vital energies, um, things that motivate us to move forward. symbolizes that especially now entering this new season and slowly moving towards March uh, we have this incredible energy that's been stored up and is ready to be used to to um, yeah just to propel us forward um, hmm, there's a couple of important things to note about this this strength as long as it is harnessed and used in the correct way, um, it can be extremely beneficial. And if it is used in an incorrect way, such as at the wrong time, um, or uh, inappropriately, um, then it can turn into a really negative force. So an example of this would be if uh, someone were to be using their strength in order to control another person. Um, yeah. I feel like that's the most relevant message for Urus right now. But yeah, so there is this, this, this force, this upwelling of energy and power that's coming up and we're asked to harness it. The second rune out is Tewa's. This is the rune for Tyr. It's number 17. Tewa's stands for the Load Star or the North Star, the Guiding Star. It stands for justice, for law and order and right ethical action. Tyr is also a god of war, but brute force is not used um, as a first resort. This indicates that 
as this force of Uruz is welling up, we need to use it uh, to seek justice, to seek good guidance or give good guidance. Um, you can also view this as kind of like a, a sort of truth in a way. So seek truth, continue towards the, the beautiful guidance that you've been given so far. Um, seek justice and or justice is coming. Hmm. Another way you could view Tewa's being in the present position. I'm going to just consult my book here. Hmm. It's also a rune of self-sacrifice, of course. In the myths, Tyr sacrifices his right hand. Um, and this is to symbolize... Uh, To symbolize his his dedication and his uh, his commitment to seeking a higher path, it's his sword hand, right? So this is to symbolize like I'm not I'm not using my sword. I'm using my mind. I'm using my uh, compassion and my dedication for truth. Um, things of that nature it's not to say that you should sacrifice everything for your higher cause but it is to say that some things do need to be sacrificed for your higher cause whether they be a hedonic lifestyle or um attachments to i don't know sugar video games or those are two things i'm struggling with so <laughs> that's why i say those uh, <laughs> it's a uh, it's a good time to ask yourself what do you believe in and what are you willing to give up for that belief for that cause mm-hmm and the third rune, the energy that we're coming into at this time is Fehu, but reversed. It's murky. So Fehu, this is the first rune in the Futhark. Fehu is about our, uh, our liquid assets, our, um, the concept of money. So before we were using uh, gold coins and then paper. No, Kata, out. Before we were using... <laughs> Out. Okay. One second. I love those dogs. <laughs> Kira, was I? Fehu. Before the invention of coins as money, um, before we were using paper, <laughs> before we were using uh, credit, uh, a man's or a family's wealth was measured by their cattle, <laughs> by uh, by their um, their livestock. That that's what Fehu represents. So, um, as such, it also represents nowadays, especially not just money, but um, knowledge, like your wisdom. It represents. Uh, the energy that you sacrifice or exchange for goods and services. All those three concepts and more, but those are the main ones. Fehu being murky, reversed, tells me that we're headed into a time where uh, if you are greedy or and withhold either uh, money or knowledge both um, it 
contributes to uh, like a stultification and a stoppage of that energy moving throughout and growing. Um, so if you have like super hyper rich people like say Jeff Bezos or uh, Mark Zuckerberg or uh, <laughs> the people of the Davos Forum, uh, Carl Schwab, people like that. This is a really excellent example to just show how this works. When they amass so much wealth that they could never spend it in this lifetime, it leads to um, poverty and uh, issues within the tribes that they belong to. So this is this is definitely an issue going forward to consider. Also in your own personal life, if you have this motivation, this drive, this energy, this strength, and you're seeking a higher truth, a higher calling, justice, um, and you're moving towards a marked goal, a logical goal, but you're withholding knowledge or you're not um, allowing money to circulate in a, a positive way, this could lead to uh, a stoppage of that money. Uh, it will stop growing for everybody. It will mm, it could lead to poverty, as I was saying. It could also indicate really that <clears throat> we're headed into a time where money's going to be tight for everybody. And uh, okay, that's interesting. I just made this this hand symbol. It's like um, this upwelling of energy is being like shoved down. There's definitely a need to spend wisely and with foresight. And then invest in things and services and people and communities that are more local and keep your focus keep your focus with these things on uh, keep your focus on 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 your your ta your Tewa's force. <laughs> It's interesting because we're heading into spring right now, so there is lots of this energy coming up. But being murky tells me that there's something major trying to keep it down, keep it um, suppressed. Kind of gnarly. I'm not gonna lie. It's not. It's not pretty. It's never nice. Uh, it's never nice to do a reading and have a, a big old murky rune at the very end, especially one that's really supposed to be really positive. Just spill everywhere. Interesting. I just want to see if there's anything else any pieces of advice that might pop out at me. Mm. The other important thing that immediately popped out from the page at me is that uh, there's a possibility if uh, you fall into greed of becoming an outcast or alienating yourself from society and from yourself and your connection with your higher self or the gods.
there's definitely discord coming and um, an excess of this energy, like because it's not being circulated, can cause uh, an extreme like burnout of your creative drives, your creative energy. It's a possibility of offensive aggression from others or from yourself. So beware of that. And just general discord. So beware of that. So it seems like there's, in summary, it seems like there is an incredible amount of um, new and renewed energy coming up for everybody. And uh, there's a lot of us striving towards a higher ideal and uh, justice and truth and things like that. However, it's very necessary to ensure that this energy keeps circulating, whether it is in the form of money or if it is in the form of um, just wealth, wealth of your creative juices, wealth of knowledge, wealth of whatever, and don't allow it to get stuffed down. This could even manifest even in just like speaking out like that is actually something that has come up for me personally in my dreams lately is a, uh, a ne the necessity to use my voice and the power of my words um, to speak out like I have a message to say I have a message to speak it's part of why I do these videos but <laughs> in more in my personal life than anything else so Ensure that you are speaking up, sharing what knowledge you have. Do not back away from the battlefield, so to speak. Um, and ensure if you are feeling alienated from yourself, from your higher self, from spirit, God, universe, whoever, that you take some time to reconnect and... Uh, Ensure that that energy continues to flow both this way and this way. <laughs> uh, especially if you're feeling um, creatively blocked at this time. Okay, there you go. That was your rune reading for this week. Uh, I hope it helped. And if you'd like a personal reading, email me. My email is down below. And I look forward to reading for you next week. Actually, the weekend. And then next week, I'm doing them all weekends too. Okay, peace.